All right, wave for the camera, buddy. Hi. Hi, there you go. I'm a person. <laughs> Not only is she a person, she's Hannah, and I'm Gabe from Thinking Outside the Long Box. How are you guys doing today? Uh, so, we uh, get movies and things like that all the time, uh, you know, things that we can watch that maybe you guys won't have heard of, because we tend to get things that are a little more uh, indie on the indie side. And so today I'm going to be talking about, and you'll see me looking kind of over that way instead of right into the camera a bunch, because I have notes. Uh, today we're going to be talking about The Curse of Audrey Earnshaw. Um, so this pretty interesting movie uh, takes place in 1970s. Uh, Ireland and is kind of it, it, it's about a mother and her daughter who definitely have um, some sinister things happening I think Hannah just bailed uh, so I'm gonna read the synopsis that we got sent the curse of Audrey Earnshaw explores the disturbed bond between Audrey an enigmatic young woman and Agatha her domineering mother who lives secretly as a cultist on the outskirts of a remote Protestant village Following an ominous encounter between Agatha and a grieving townsman and a rare sighting of Audrey by a local, Agatha's authority crumbles as Audrey asserts her dominance. Meanwhile, hysteria mounts within the community as a mysterious pestilence spreads throughout the fields and livestock, yet the Earnshaw farm remains strangely unaffected. Set against the autumn palette of the harvest season of 1973, the curse of Audrey Earnshaw is a nightmarish descent into the mythic. So... Um, this comes across like very much so like, uh, a more horror centric version of something like the witch. Like it's definitely, um, got that tone to it. You know, the, the color palettes, the, the expression, like the long shots, those sorts of things are definitely very reminiscent of the witch. The difference is, is this has a lot more gore to it. Uh, there's no ambiguity about, um, the supernatural side of things. Um, the idea of placing it in 70s Ireland, so not being Irish, I don't know if there's something that I'm missing by them setting it in like the 70s, but it feels like it takes place in a much earlier time. Uh, there's a lot of carts and things like that. And, and my understanding from, you know, other reading in the in you know about the movie is that it's because they live like in a weird commune that that's almost Amish like they haven't like moved on into like modernity um I don't know that that's necessary for this movie like I don't even know that this movie needs to have a time and place set other than there might be some confusion at the very end when there's a truck um but past that like this could happen any time in the past um it is pretty interesting. Um, it definitely, uh, you get like a little bit of a Rosemary's Baby vibe. You get a little bit of a witch vibe. You get a little bit of a, you know, period piece vibe. Um, Catherine Walker, who plays the mother, and then <laughs> uh, Jessica Reynolds, who play Audrey. They turn in some pretty intense performances, uh, particularly in this movie uh when it comes to their relationship with each other and then a guy named sean mcginley who plays the local pastor uh definitely has a very interesting uh kind of character arc um this movie's great uh it's definitely going to fly under the radar uh but if you like things like the witch if you like things like hereditary or midsommar um, if you like Irish movies, like it's definitely has that like sensibility, you know, they, they obviously all speak with Irish accents and it clearly well, takes place there, out? uh, today. Oh, the movie came out today. Yeah. I watched it like two days ago though. Oh, wait, how? <laughs> because to do things like this, companies will send their movie out early so that we can watch it early and make sure to have a review ready to go for the day that it releases. Oh, that makes sense. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah. That's all on the video too little extra bonus behind the scenes content for you guys um it also there's so there's kind of a, a two-fold story going on as well um there's the mother and daughter and then there's also a husband and wife who have already had a son die uh you know very very young and she becomes pregnant throughout this and there's this really intense kind of side story that seems like a very interesting extended metaphor for um like 
the right to choose, you know, body autonomy and things like that. And I find that super fascinating. Uh, it gives a lot of subtext to this movie that it doesn't necessarily have. Like, it's just kind of like a supernatural horror movie, a supernatural thriller. But this adds like a little bit more to it because you have the daughter who clearly has something crazy going on besides, you know, the where she lives and all of that who is declaring her like autonomy like as a person and then you have this wife that knows that the child that's inside of her is is unhealthy for her and like in general just unhealthy and evil and she wants to get rid of the baby but because they're in this like weird you know area in ireland in like a different time and place you know, she doesn't have access to any of that. Her husband hates that idea. The local doctor, you know, shies away from it. It 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 provides some really, really intense moments in the, the movie. The person's name is Hannah, just like mine. Yeah, her name is Hannah Emily Anderson. Uh, she actually oh is the lady that I was just uh, talking about <laughs> that, that is about to have an evil baby. Because sometimes okay. babies are evil. <laughs> <laughs> were you an evil baby? No. No, I don't think so. But anyway. Were you? Uh, probably. Um, so, Curse of Audrey Earnshaw. Um, it is coming out from, from Gate uh, 67. Um, I do not know what the distribution is going to look like on this. I would suspect that we're going to see it on like Netflix or Hulu or Shudder. Um, it, is, it is a really, really cool movie. Um, I, I highly recommend it. Um, but thank you so much for watching. It's been a really cool movie. Uh, hopefully we'll bring you some more of these like day of reviews, uh, you know, as we get some more of these, uh, but Juan tends to send me the, the scary stuff first because he knows that I'll actually watch it and like it. All right. Anyway, with that said, uh, this one's going to go out onto the main page. So be sure to join us on Patreon at patreon.com slash TOTLB, where you can get more content like this, where I talk about, you know, random things that I've watched, movies that I've enjoyed, that sort of thing. Uh, go to TOTLB.com to interact with all of our social media. Uh, tell Hannah how awesome she is in the comments. I would love to hear that uh, <laughs> because... She's pretty awesome. Uh, and of course, uh, you can find, well, you're probably watching this on YouTube already, tinyurl.com slash TOTLBTube. Uh, subscribe, like, hit the little bells to get notifications. Uh, and finally, if you have any opinions on this, give us a call 970-573-6148, the Michael Kirk Memorial Hotline. He stood tall amongst those he loved. Till next time, I've been Gabe. Bye.